Hello and welcome to Music in 5 Minutes or Less with Mr. Craig. I am Craig Harmon of Harmony Music Education, also known as Mr. Craig. Today we're going to talk about those two numbers at the beginning of music. Or sometimes you might even see the letter C. We'll get there. Just hold on. So the top number is the most important. Normally, you see four, four, four on the top, four on the bottom. That top number tells you how many counts you have in each measure. And a measure, it's that little block. If you're looking at the music, that's what a measure is. And so what that's telling you is there's something that equals four counts or four beats in that little section right there. That's not too hard. But then when we get to the bottom number, that four, that means that a quarter note gets counted as the beat. So what that's saying is there's four quarter notes or something that equals four quarter notes in each measure. And that's not too hard. We can change the top number and keep the bottom number the same. So sometimes you might see three, four. That's called waltz time. And that's just telling you there's three counts in each measure. Or two, four. That means there's two counts in each measure. That's not too hard, right? You could also go even farther past four if you wanted, but really musicians can be kind of lazy and we don't really like to count much past four. But you could have five, four or six, four or seven, four or even 24 if you wanted, but why? But you'll see that C sometimes, which stands for common time. And that's just a simple abbreviation for four, four time. But now we get a little harder. So what happens if that bottom number changes? Sometimes you might see the number eight on the bottom. And that tells you that an eighth note gets the beat. Now you'll still have the same kinds of numbers on the top, right? You might have three eights, four eights. But commonly, you're going to see if you have the eight being the bottom number, six is the top number. So that means that there's six eighth notes. Now, I know I just said we don't like to count past four. Well, here's the fun of this. Six, eight and other meters like this, that's what we call the numbers, meters, is a compound meter, which means you can count it two ways. You could count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a mouthful though, if you're going pretty fast. So we can simplify because again, musicians like to be, well, lazy, but we like to be simplifying things and making it easier on ourselves. So you can count it in two big, two big counts of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two. That makes sense, right? That's not too hard, but more often than not, especially when you're starting out in music, you're going to see four, four or three, four, or two, four, even once in a great while. That's how it works. That's what those numbers mean. The top number tells you how many counts you have in each measure. The bottom tells you what note gets the beat. Now, what could happen if we wanted to go the other direction, right? So we went from four to eight. What if we went from four to two? Ooh. Well, that means that the half note gets the beat. So that just totally throws everything off. And that's for another day that's far, 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 far more complex. So we're not gonna go there. The ones that are really the most important, especially the bottom numbers is four and eight. Four is the most important. Eight, eh, you get there once in a while. But that's what those numbers mean. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks for tuning in and look forward to the next conversation.